welcome to Blue Hill Tarot. This is going to be a special messages full moon energy for the week ahead. Today is September 15th, 2024. We're going to connect with the energy of things that may be coming through with the full moon in Pisces on the 17th. We're going to do all three air signs within this video. There will be timestamps so you can jump to the air sign that connects with whatever you're interested in. And I want to thank you for stopping at Blue Hill Tarot. We're going to start with the sun sign Gemini, the big brain Gemini energy with this moon. I will say to you, I do feel like this is going to be a powerful moon with this Pisces and there will be earth changes and I do feel like the moon is going to make some uh, changes around the energy of air. Let's see what we receive. Please like and subscribe and thank you for supporting Blue Hill Tarot. Gemini, 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 Gemini. We will do these uh, sun signs. Gemini, Aquarius, excuse me, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. In that order, we'll have time steps. Here we go. Gemini, 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 messages, please. Gemini, 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 messages, please. Special messages for the energy ahead with the full moon on the 17th in Pisces. Please, messages for Gemini. What does the Gemini need to hear now? Okay, so if you come out as the Six of Swords, Gemini, first message is about you feeling like you need to make some necessary changes. Uh, so uh, that's a powerful energy. You, you want to move towards calmer waters. If you've been focused on trying to do that, moving in a direction that's going to make things a little smoother in your life, no matter what area, it looks like it's working. And this is a positive way to start the energy for this full moon. The energy of money, if you're trying to manifest more, look at that, Ten of Pentacles. You are moving towards calmer water around your money. Many of you Geminis have been putting in the effort in it, and this moon is going to pull through opportunity to help move you along around your material life. There is something that's still stuck. So uh, this is a stalemate card, Gemini. So if you have something going on um, around your bills, around something to do with uh, something, you know, that it, it needs some action taken around your bottom line. Um, you know, this card says you're moving in the right direction. You are increasing your, uh, you know, ability to manifest. However, there's still something that needs to be uh, cleared. Okay, so some action needs to be taken. Uh, so whether it's, you know, something that keeps coming up around something from your past that's related to the material side of your life, uh, you need to just go ahead and figure out what am I going to do with that? Okay, if you're going to just kick it to the curb, kick it to the curb and uh, go on. But if not, you're going to have to take some kind of action. And taking an action is, okay, I'm not paying that or I'm not doing that or I'm not connecting with that. That's an action. Or, okay, let me figure out what these people want or what do I need to do or what 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 is happening here. That's an action too. But leaving this card and this energy and stasis, it's never going to go away. So this card is a card of being stuck around something to do with your material life. And it's blocking you from moving towards this energy fully uh, until you do something. Okay, so even if you just say, look, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I don't feel like this is my responsibility, whatever it is, do something if you choose. Next, we have the energy of the hanged man. This is a Pisces energy. It's also an energy of surrendering. You know, you may have to surrender and say, okay, I'm just going to take care of this. I'm going to work this out in some way. That's an action too. Uh, then we have the energy of water. So uh, I will say um, for some of you Geminis, you have a strong connection with a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. They're in your life. They could be connected with this situation uh, in this stalemate, or they could be a whole separate situation. This is just a note that some energies of water are going to be around you, connecting with you energetically or otherwise with this full moon next week. 
Your karma for the week, Gemini, is the energy of things moving fast. So it's going to be a fast-paced week. Things are going to go quickly. You're going to be doing a lot of things. Uh, you know, expect to be moving. Um, things are going to be happening with this full moon energy next week. The energy of the Nine of Wands. So this is a, a beautiful energy of you making strides and things are going, uh, you know, you are uh, accomplishing your task and getting things taken care of. You can clear this energy of the Two of Swords. The energy of the uh, money that, you know, you want to earn more money. Your focus is about manifesting. It's not moving as quickly as you like. This moon is not going to make it move any quicker. Uh, we still have to clear this stalemate or this thing that's stuck to make it move as quickly as you'd like to. The unknown variable for you, Gemini, next week is justice. Okay, so justice. That's another air sign. Uh, it could be a Libra, but this is also justice. Uh, you know, there will be a fair and balanced outcome around this blocked energy, around your money. There will be a fair and balanced outcome around your life in general. An unknown variable, is, this is the telling you whatever is going on, you're going to get a fair and balanced outcome if you take action or if you don't. Uh, so the uh, energies of people that could be connecting around the Gemini that I'm picking up on could be water or air, but it could be any energy that's around you. Now, your final card is the High Priestess. Pay attention, Gemini. Listen more next week if you can. That's also a Cancer and a Virgo. On the bottom of the deck, we have you, Gemini. There you are as the lovers, beautiful energy. So let's throw you a few destiny cards. It looks like, you know, for, for you Geminis, there's water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's other air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and there's a Virgo that could be connecting around some of you Geminis. And there's something that it, it is, could be connected with those uh, people that is stuck. And there's something that will, uh, you know, that is around your money, your finance, your bottom line, where you want to move towards calmer waters, but there's still some action. You're going to need to take it. So focus in if you choose, Gemini, and take the action or do whatever it is you choose that's best for you. Here we go. Destiny energy for Gemini, please. Okay, so it looks like for some of you, Geminis, you've been ignoring something that's stuck. Okay, you've been the peacemaker in, in some sense of the word, which means to just ignore things and let them just slide and not do anything about them. That will not help you. You are thinking a lot. Don't, uh, don't blow a gasket around, uh, you know, making more money, making things better in your life financially. Um, karma. Okay, so you, you see the, the, the energy here of these threes, and that is, uh, you know, the, uh, the energy of things that you have indecision and worry about, Gemini. So I would encourage you, if you can, meditate and focus in on what it is that you want to do around something that may be stuck that you need to take action, and uh, to just do it if you choose, okay? That's going to be your uh, reading for next week with the full moon for the Gemini. We are now going to move to the Libra. And uh, we will put time stamps in. All right. the sun sign of Libra. Please subscribe to Blue Hill Tarot, like and comment, and uh, if you have an opportunity to subscribe, uh, to become a member over on Patreon, I do upload videos over there that are unique to this channel, and it'd be great to have uh, uh, some connections over there with some of you. So uh, it's Blue Hill Tarot on Patreon. And I thank you for your support to those of you that take the time to do that. I really appreciate it. And I thank you for your comments also. So we're going to do the energy of Libra now for the full moon messages, special messages. Here we go. Libra, 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 Libra. Oh, Libra. 
Libra. Welcome, welcome to Blue Hill Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping. We're going to do special messages for you for the week ahead. Today is the uh, 15th Sunday, September 2024. The moon is going to be full in the energy of Pisces. It's going to be an interesting week for us all with earth changes and other things going on connected with the energy of the moon. I do feel like the air signs will definitely have some energy changes around them with this full moon. We'll also include a partial uh, lunar eclipse with this full moon. And then we have the equinox. So it's going to be an interesting batch of days ahead. So let's see, what are the messages for Libra, Libra, Libra? What are the messages for Libra, Libra, Libra? First message is the energy of strength. Wow, you're starting out strong, Libra. You're showing up strong. I love it. This is also a Leo. The energy of people, three people at least around you that truly value you and care about you. Let them hear from you. The Nine of Wands, uh, you know what? This is the card of, uh, you know, you have a lot of accomplishments. You've, you've achieved plenty of things, but you're in the graduating class. There's a little bit farther to go to you get exactly what you want. Be strong, yeah, lean on your friends, connect with your family, uh, loved ones. It's a positive energy of moving forward, being strong, going in the right direction. The energy of the hermit. Some of you Libras have an earth sign Virgo in your life, and some of you are <clears throat> going to be in, uh, you know, hermit mode next week. Uh, you know, pulling back, uh, shining the light of the divine around something that you're thinking about in your life or professional or personal. The energy of the seven of pentacles. You are showing up for work. You're doing what you need to do. You're tending to your garden. This, is, this hermit energy is not about work. It's about something else in your life. Your karma for next week is the energy of fire, the night of fire. Uh, so it's something that you're connected karma around. Some of you is connected to a fire sign and the fire is burning hot. You may be hearing from a fire sign, connecting with a fire sign. That would be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You could be retreating from a fire sign. Absolutely, it's possible. There's a, there's definitely an energy there of possibly pulling back from some uh, someone that is a fire sign. The energy of the chariot. This is the Cancer Sagittarius energy. If you have a Cancer or a Sagittarius in your life, you are definitely moving ahead with them. They are on the right track with you. You guys are connected, absolutely going in the same direction. The energy of fire again. If you have, uh, you know, if you're waiting to hear from uh, the energy of a fire sign you will okay the moon will pull them through okay if you want to hear from a uh, leo an aries a sagittarius a cancer or a virgo um, i see them all here and they may be reaching out to you um, with this energy of the moon the unknown variable for next week for you libra is the energy of your health Okay, remember this, okay? Whenever you have the health card uh, with a full moon, especially this full moon we have coming, take care of yourself, okay? Follow through on the things that you need to. Or if anyone here that I mentioned is involved with you in your life and they need your support, show up for them. If they need help getting to a doctor or following through on an appointment, be there for them. And get enough rest, Libra. Final energy is the energy of a Pisces. So some of you uh, Libras have a Pisces that may need your help or is connected with you around uh, something that we talked about here. The energy on the bottom of the deck is the energy of you. This is you, King of Swords. So let's throw a few tarot cards. I think the message that I see um, are around um, some of you uh, Libras are pulling back from somebody um, or uh, focusing in on someone. If you have a fire sign, 
Uh, that is the energy of fire. Oh, uh, what fire? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You know, you're focused on them, and you may be trying to figure something out around what's going on with them. If you have a water sign, um, especially um, a Cancer or a Pisces in your life, they may be needing you in regards to something to do with their, their health. But they also could be somebody that you are focusing in on. Um, I definitely see a variety of people around you that are personal connections. Um, in regards to your work next week, Libra, I see you showing up and tending to your garden, doing what you need to do. You have a lot on your plate and, and it looks positive, but there's personal things going on that you're trying to figure something out. Uh, the light of the divine is around you. You may uh, need to just be still and listen a little more. Here we go. Let's throw some cards here. Destiny for Libra, please. Destiny for Libra. Oh, wow. There's the blank with the hermit. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh. So, <coughs> it's definitely um, the energy... Um, around you um i want to say libra listen if you have somebody in your family that you love um, that you care about um that is a connected energy and they're having some type of health issue don't procrastinate around things that need to get done just help them get them done and there is you know when that happens there will be healing there and recovery as possible absolutely the Hermit is uh, definitely, for some of you who have connections with anybody I mentioned here, um, you know, you may be, um, these two sevens are, say that some of you Libras are looking at some energies that you're connected with, whether it's love or family, somebody you already know, and you know, you're looking at something that they've done or some decisions that they've made or deals that they've connected with and you're not too thrilled with them you're looking at that from a perception of a, of a you know pragmatic perception and some of you may be putting some strings on some people that you're connected with don't do that Libra uh, let people just uh, you know you just show up and be yourself and trust and believe you've got three sevens here it's a message you need to be more spiritual you need to not squeeze things trust and believe the universe has a plan there's absolutely great energy around your work I will say that for Libras you guys can make some money next week absolutely positive deal making energy the energies that I see around love and health are things that I think will be the focus for some of you Libras that may be unexpected with this moon. All right, that's the uh, energy for the Libra. Special messages for the Libra. We're going to do the final sun sign, which will be the energy of Aquarius. Start Aquarius and... Do Aquarius energy. Clear, clear, clear. Hi, Aquarius. Welcome to Blue Hill Tarot. We're going to do the uh, special messages energy for you, Aquarius. For next week, beginning today, September 15th, 2024, we have the full moon on Tuesday in Pisces. We have a partial lunar eclipse and we go right into the equinox. We have a lot of earth change energy that's coming uh, that I uh, many of us are picking up on. So let's see what the messages are for the Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius messages. This is Blue Hill Tarot. Please support my channel by liking, subscribing. And if you are willing to be a member for free over on Patreon, that would be great. I do upload unique videos to that channel. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Here we go. Messages for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. 
First message, wow, right out of the gate, you're starting with something stuck. Oh, I think every air sign in this uh, video series has received this card. Um, I do want to say I absolutely connect, and that's one of the reasons I did the air signs in the order I did this morning. I feel like this is going to be a challenging moon for some of you, all of you air signs around things that you need to take action on. Every air sign received this card. There's something in your life, you know what it is that you are, you need to do something about. You know, it's never going, these swords will not uncross themselves, Aquarius. You need to take action, okay? You need, you need to take action, you need to stop uh, procrastinating, do something about whatever this is, one way or the other. Next energy is the energy of the Ace of Pentacles. If you do do something, it's going to be positive. It's going to make, uh, unclog the log jam. It's going to clear the drain. It's going to start things moving again around anything that you are trying to accomplish. This Ace covers all Aces about things within your grasp, Aquarius. The energy of the truth, you know, uh, you know, pay attention to the truth, seeking the truth. The moth says you need to be more focused. It's absolutely positive. If you do uncross the swords, seek the truth. It's going to unblock that drain of energy and get things moving again. There is love around you, Aquarius. This is the seven rivers energy, the seven rivers of reciprocal love. Uh, so if you care about somebody right now, Aquarius, they care about you too. Um, that if you don't have anyone in your life, Aquarius, there is love on your path. Trust and believe. I affirm your power. Then we have, you have, look at, you know, you have three aces, you know, right in a row. This is your ace, Aquarius. This is the ace of karma, of fate, of listening to your intuition, Absolutely, uh, positive things can happen. All of these aces, when we talk about aces in tarot, for me, we're talking about things that are within your grasp. Things that you can accomplish, whether it's love, money, life, relationships, family, things that you can reach. They are within your reach, okay? So understand that you have three aces. The ace of earth, the ace of water, the Ace of Air, they're all sitting right here. And starting this out is what's blocked. If you unblock this, all of these Aces are coming in your direction. Your karma and fate is the energy of you feeling trapped, feeling cornered, feeling like you don't know what you want to do, feeling like you're pressured, you want to run away, you want to escape from it. It's not going anywhere. Okay, so this is emotions. We have a full house here. We have three aces and two fives. Okay, so the fives are an energy of restlessness. So you have a restless energy around something that you're passionate about. You have an energy of ebbing and flowing around relationships that are not uh, going the way that you would like them to. And they're all being blocked by something. Um, so you want to clear the drain, Aquarius. It's up, it's up to you. But I'm going to say to you, when you have this card, um, after you have this card, these are both fives. This is the five of your emotions. This is the five of ebbing and flowing, feeling bad, feeling okay, feeling bad, feeling okay, feeling like, oh, crap, feeling okay. Okay, the next energy is the death card. Some of you are carrying energy around relationships that have ended, and um, that's just, you know, you need to clear the energy. Some of you are going to be dealing with an ending next week. Some of you may have something that's blocked. Somebody may not want to end something with you, and you're saying, look, it's over. Somebody may be, uh, you may be ending something with somebody, and you need to. There's an energy of something on your path that's blocking you that needs to complete. Now, whether you like it or not, next week may be the week where the universe forces the issue and it does end. The unknown variable is the devil. 
this is an earth energy, but it's also the energy of whatever this is, it's not working and you need to let it go. And look at this card, your final energy is consequences. So I'm gonna say, uh, absolutely Aquarius, uh, please consider uh, focusing in, doing some cleansing and meditating around things in your life that have been just sitting, that just been sitting and stewing and need to be unblocked. It's gonna make such a magnificent difference in your energy if you do release them. Okay, so let's uh, throw a few destiny cards for Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Wow, love. There's definitely love available to you. You gotta get rid of this energy though, Aquarius. Let it go. Whatever needs to get behind you, let it get behind you. Wow. Stubborn. Mm. Wow. Okay. Um, so some of you Aquarius have been in committed or long-term relationships with an earth sign. Uh, some of you um, have been just riding the wave and trying to keep things uh, running smoothly. Um, not letting people know how you feel. Um, some of you Aquarius are being extremely stubborn around, um, you know, things that you want and things that, um, you know, you have a, uh, a mental view of and you're not changing and, uh, you know, you're just being too stubborn, especially as they connect with money. Some of you Aquarius will be dealing with things that, uh, you know, you're keeping close to the vest. You may be keeping some secrets. You may have... Uh, uh, relationships here, relationships there, and one doesn't know about the other, or that may be something that you're dealing with. There's a message here of showing up and, and uh, you know, go to work, do, uh, do, do what you need to do. Um, you have three eights here. You have an energy of another full house. So this is a challenging uh, week uh, ahead for Aquarius if you choose to acknowledge that you are dealing with circumstances and consequences that you can move through. You've been thinking, thinking, this is some stalemate or uh, something around Aquarius that this resonates with that you are familiar with, okay? You know what this is. So um, if that resonates with you, make some changes if you choose next week, Aquarius. Let the energy clear. Clear the drain because you have so much beautiful stuff around that wants to get through, but it can't. All right, thank you for stopping here, Aquarius at Blue Hill Tarot, and we will talk to you again soon. Take care.